All right, so another update. Uh, the bore mites are coming on pretty well. I have raced on ahead a little bit and done some of the more basic stuff that we've covered in the, the little tutorial videos we put out. So, if you want to come on down here, the lava mites got a dry brush. Now, they got two dry brushes. They got initially a dry brush of, um, let me see, skeleton bone, uh, which was quite a heavy dry brush. And then at the end, they went and got uh, a dry brush of white. So, that's what they're looking at at the minute. They've now had uh, a soft tone wash. Um, before I applied the wash, I went in and these little bits here that look a bit more mechanical, they got another coat of desert yellow just to make them look a little bit more solid. And obviously they've been put on there to control these things. So other bits we've done is went on to the, the equipment, the turrets and stuff, added a little bit of detail with um, some uniform gray. Once that was done, the whole thing got a, a wash. There was also a little bit of plate mail silver added on to the, the larger turret there. Then that got soft tone wash and we're now going to go in uh, with some red tone uh, to start doing lenses and other little detail parts like that. Uh, there's someone is now creeping around here. Are you warn you coming in on this? <laughs> I think it's looking really good. It's not bad. <laughs> so well. um, of the two, my preference is the boromites. Uh -huh. I think that the scheme, the scheme on the boromites worked worked very well more surprisingly if yeah. you know what i mean these guys here worked pretty much as we would have expected them yeah this scheme has surprised me yeah um, i i was it's interesting that once you start applying the the wash mm -hmm. how the tonality of the of the space wolves gray or where wolf gray wolf gray that we put <laughs> on it from army painter the how the tonality changed and it, it's worked really really well mm -hmm. um so what is the next steps? Have you already told them what the next steps are? Already told are? them we're going in, going in to do the the lenses and other little details with a, a red tone wash. Yeah. So um, lenses. This guy's whip. Yes, we're going to add it's a an little electro bit of blue. Whip. What is some? Yeah, if we could get Army Painter do a kind of like a blue tonal wash, yep. don't they? So like a blue ink. Yep. Might be kind of cool on that with a white dry brush right mm. at the very end, just to give it that that crack of electricity. <laughs> So while you're here, yes, basing. Yes, the all important basing discussion. We had initially had talked about snow. Yes. Be careful with that chair. I'll be very careful. You'd be very careful with that chair. There, <laughs> there. It's stable. okay. So basing them. Yes, we had thought about snow. Yes. The problem with that is now that the snow is going to be far brighter than anything on the miniature, which will give us contrast, but would be more eye catching. Than the actual model yeah there's a point when the contrast becomes distracting yeah um but at the same time i don't want it to blend too much with the base because i do like the models to pop um mm -hmm. on camera so as we see it we've we have a number of options we could go with a, a kind of like dark rubble that we've done on yeah. the bolt action mm -hmm. so check out the bolt action soviets you get an idea of the kind of the the dark city rubble type effect we're going for mm -hmm. but my problem is we've already done that yeah we have done that so i want to do something different so option two maybe desert possibly desert yeah some kind of a, a desert scheme um any thoughts <laughs> yourself sure. i'm still i'm still i'm still thinking snow to be honest you know like a frozen tundra mm -hmm. um I just think it's um, different. We've not done it before. Yeah, it's different. We 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 haven't we haven't done it. And you know, I think sometimes it's worth it's worth having a crack at something just to see mm -hmm. how how it'll turn out. Well, we can give the snow a try. Yeah, I think we'll give the snow a try and see what happens. We have a lot of. We've got a theme tune here. Yeah. It's Oh, oh, Justin, were you giving us a theme tune there? Oh, that, was, that, that was me. Oh, is that your that theme tune? Me, yeah. <laughs> it's normally him that brings the theme tunes in. Yeah, I reckon, I, w I think we go for the frozen wastes. And okay. do, do use a lot of the Army Painter tufts? The I, tufts. I like the frozen tundra tufts. It's yeah. kind of that grass with that... Frosting. So we'll have a look through the Army Painter basing materials and see what we've got. But yeah. um, my, I know we're taking a chance with the, with the frozen stuff, mm -hmm. but... I I still think it's I still think it's worth you it. You still want to do I, it. I still think we should do it. All right. I think it's different. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we don't want armies all to look the same. True. 
if we're going for high contrast, let's let's give it a go. And these guys battling it out over some kind of frozen frost planet. Mm -hmm. There's bound to be one. We'll ask Priestley. He'll he'll tell yeah. us the name <laughs> of one. So yeah. Frozen, John. Alright. Let's go for it. <laughs> 